so here's the uh, brief tutorial. So I'll make this two steps. The first one is going to deal with getting installed and getting it working. Uh, so number one, we're here at the siliconedust.com for HD Home Run. And if you're running Windows 10, click the HD Home Run app for Windows 10, which is what I have done for my computer. Uh, there's some from older versions of Windows and Android, which I have used on Android and Linux. So these all work successfully. But click on it. It's going to take you to the Microsoft Store. It's not going to download like a uh, typical .msi file. And it's just hit get. I'm 99% sure I already have this installed on here. Actually, yeah, it just shows up at the bottom. So um, we'll close out of that for this purpose. Uh, and typically, it'll appear you click install. It'll take a little bit as permissions, and then life is good. So uh, after that, hit launch for you guys. I have to go a different route because mine's already installed. And what I want to do is, you can see that there's two HDM home runs available. This one's going to be the app for viewing it. This one that says setup is going to be the app for setting it up. Tell it yes. And it's going to automatically try to find what you have on the network. I have the HD home run extend. It has transcoding capabilities and it only is available to transcode to, or uh, not transcode, well yeah, actually transcode and do two signals simultaneously so there's a device input you can select the source type mine's a digital antenna i'm in the united states and i leave these this at default digital antenna what you want to do in here is if you have the one that if you have one on the network it'll automatically populate if not you might have to drop it down uh, and then it hits scan so uh, I'll, I'll do a brief scanning so you can see what's going on it's going to go through and test the channels now Mind you, when it goes through these channels, it doesn't always get the best channels. There's some that are kind of a little fuzzy. And I'm about 50 miles in or west-ish of Detroit and maybe 40 miles from Lansing. So I get both channels. I have a, a smaller antenna in the garage. So I pick up some decent channels both directions. But some channels kind of fade out because typically they broadcast out of Southfield near me, uh, which I think is about 30-some miles from here. But anyways... You will get good channels and you will get bad channels. You'll get standard channels, you get HD channels, and for where I'm at, I get Spanish channels, which I find pretty interesting, but it is what it is. Um, so you can see, like, right now, 32 channels are, are, are loading up in there, and these are all accessible through the HD Home Run application that runs HD, that bad boy. When you click on that, it'll pop up just like a regular TV screen. And you'll be really surprised. The guide on there is very nice. Everything that you're seeing here on the left-hand side will show up in the guide with a lot more detail and pictures, the whole nine yards, as long as you set everything up correctly. And uh, so I'm going to hit apply. It's going to update the configuration. And then we're going to go over to the DVR side of it. Now, this is the part that you can use if you want to have your HD Home Run record TV shows. It's very vital for you. You would select this, and the PC that you just clicked this on is the PC that you need to have sitting here running continuously for it to record to at any given time it's a huge pain in the butt but if that's what you have this is definitely a good option to go with uh, i personally don't use this i use plex uh, if you don't have plex and you have just a regular low grade uh, network attached storage this is a great option to just dropping files in and having something else transcoded in the future it's fantastic and here's the advanced tab i have kept this on auto and had the best results so far uh, i select this Automatically select from available tuners, which is recommended. And every once in a while, when something's not working correctly, I just select a repair, and it seems to repair itself correctly, which I, I definitely enjoy. Um, this is the end of step one on getting this set up. So right now, if you hit apply, and then you go back into your, I always hit apply, in your HD Home Run application, you should be able to start watching TV. Let's see, what's a good channel to watch? Uh, I think this one comes in. It also has stain lifting action. It's gonna give their patients the protection that they need and the wider teeth that they want. Before I head out the door, it's what I'm looking for. Today's a daisy, I do.